I'm going to show you how to get an ARP sound just like John Summit in less than three minutes. I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. I am using a plugin called Cthulhu. However, you can just draw the ARP yourself in the MIDI, and I will explain how to do that. Let's just hop right into FL Studio. Um, I'm going to open up a default serum preset here, and I'm going to load in my chords that I had previously written for another song. I'm using triads here, really nice and simple. If you don't know what a triad is, um, you have your root note of your, of your chord, F sharp, and you're counting up three notes in the scale where F sharp is always considered as one in the scale. So that is one, that is two, A is your third. Um, same thing for the fifth, uh, B is your fifth, or sorry, your fourth, and C sharp is your fifth in the scale of F sharp minor. And I did that for all the chords in here. What I did so that it didn't just sound super close together and in one kind of like lane, I'm inverting the chord by taking the third and moving it up one octave. And I did that on every chord except for this last one here, where instead I took the fifth and moved it down an octave just to kind of like close off the chord progression. And it sounds like this. Now, another thing I did, I have another already made MIDI so that we're not wasting time. I copy and pasted those chords and added little transitional um, notes in between them, which it will restart the loop of the ARP or the pattern of the ARP once a new MIDI note is, is uh, introduced. Just really simple transitional notes. Let's just open up Cthulhu, and I'm actually going to take that progression, copy it, and paste it in Cthulhu instead. First things first, turn off this chord button, you do not need it. Okay, so, not already we have an ARP there, but a way to take it a step further is obviously you don't want that 8-bit sound, so we're going to turn that off, and we're going to come to this little gear, in the second page, we're going to put the output MIDI port. For me, I like to always use 20. I don't know why. And we're going to come back to our ARP sound on Serum, second page, and the input MIDI port at the same port. And immediately... Next thing on Cthulhu that you need to know is we don't want to just have this one pattern. There is a decrescendo pattern here. Now, there's a bunch of different little patterns that you can see up here, but if you come on the way down, it's actually the notes in the chord that's being played. Um, and so what I'm going to do is something that I actually saw Dead Mouse do for his track Imaginary Friends, which has a really, really nice warm ARP in it. He does 3-2-1, 4-2-1, and even though you're playing three notes, that fourth note's actually going to take the bottom note. Uh, for this case, it's the fifth and it's going to move it up back to its original position on the four. Um, or at least I believe that's what it's doing. I could be totally wrong, and someone in the comments let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does when you only have three notes. Now, instead of it sounding like this, it's going to sound like this. We're going to take that a step further with messing around with the cutoff knob, and... Um, just letting in more of that high end on the ARP. And that's how you really get that, like, you know, trance, techno, you know, build up with that ARP, uh, is that cutoff knob. So, uh, that's pretty much it, you know, like, all just trial and error. Um, I'm gonna go back to that original beat where I had my, all my sound design done and my mixing done just so that we can take a listen to what this progression would sound like with, you know, more elements like vocals and drums. So we start off with a really nice piano sound here. Let me just make sure I got Vox and Go on. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. This is just a, a splice sample for the vocals, by the way.
that's how you do an ARP in hopefully three minutes. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but I'm going to trim it down, make it super concise, and uh, just get you guys going with Cthulhu. Um, I did say I was going to mention how to do it with an ARP, or with just the MIDI if you don't want to buy Cthulhu. Um, but it's as simple as making it 16th notes on the chord and just using three, two, one. So like so. And then um, four, two, one. So you take this F, uh, duplicate it and move it up. And uh, two, one. So uh, let me do that on the actual serum and you can hear that it's the exact same pattern um and if we just duplicate that you know one two and then trim off that end uh cthulhu just speeds it up for me um but that's all so uh thank you for watching hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more content and uh go cop a preset down below thank you so much and peace